Okay, good morning to all. I'm Mr. Khan. Welcome here in Mr. Khan Academy. And today we are going to cover the part 8 of this 10 part series of Induction to Arduino Programming. And in this video lecture, I'm going to cover the project of LCD control with the push button. And also at the end of this video lecture, I'm going to cover the theory part of Arduino Programming in which we are going to discuss regarding the arrays and the memories as the arrays uh, is very important as the programming is concerned. But also the disadvantage arrays is consume more amount of uh, memories. Because of that, we are going to discuss in detail regarding the Arduino memory also. Before starting this video lecture, I request my viewers, you can check my previous series that is introduction, uh, introduction to Megatronics, Introduction of Arduino Programming series and last two part, part 6 and part 7. Uh, the link is available in description box or in this card icon or you can visit my channel www.youtube.com slash mrkhanacademy and, and at the end of this video lecture, if you like my video, then please hit the like button, share the, the, this video with your friends also. Uh, if you are having any doubt, any comment, any feedback, please mention in comment box and do not forget to hit the subscribe my channel to motivate me to make a such video in future also. Uh, the topics to be covered in this series as I said, uh, total 10 parts I am going to cover and already I uploaded the 7th part and today I am going to cover the part 8. Still 2 part is left. We are uh, interested to uh, get the notification of our remaining 2 part also. In that case, hit the subscribe my channel. The flow of this video lecture, I divided this lecture in 3 parts. In the first part, I will discuss the component details, circuit diagram and coding. Uh, we will see the demonstration I already know how it works and at the end part 3, we will discuss the theory part regarding the arrays and memories as I said. The component list we require for this project Arduino Uno or Megavolt, Sin by 2 character LCD liquid crystal display, 1 push button, 3 resistance, 330 ohms, 2.2k ohms and 10k ohms, some hookup wires and shoulderless breadboard. If you want to purchase this uh, components online, the link is available in description box. Uh, what is LCD? The liquid crystal display LCD is a flat panel display that uses the light modulating properties of a liquid crystals. Liquid crystals do not emit light directly instead using a black light or reflector to produce image in a color of monochrome. This is a working principle of LCD, how LCDs work. Now the circuit diagram might be in the part 5th, uh, you saw the how we are controlling the RGB LED with the help of push button. Then same kind of connection is regarding the push button, just we are added, they integrated the LCD connection which look like right now it's little bit complicated. But if you follow the proper instruction, which is display over here on the screen, LED minus LED plus DB7654 and C4 time E, R, W, R, S, V, O, 5 volt and ground. If you connected the properly pins respective pin numbers, digital and uh, remaining analog pin numbers, then you will get the desired circuit. It required some time, some concentration, just see the properly the circuit and just connect it. Uh, for proper understanding, you can see the schematic diagram also, the same LCD, whatever I written over here, LED, LED minus DB7, the same thing is written over here and respective pin numbers also written. And this is the circuit diagram for the push button. With the help of by referring this, you can connect the, uh, you can create a circuit and you can just see the demo, uh, the actual circuit diagram. Now the coding part, let's start the coding. Uh, then each and every uh, program we are studying the defining the header files. And as I'm raising the LCD, then here I need to define the header file which is related to the LCD by which I can use the functions related with the LCD. Then here defining include uh, slash include liquid crystal dot h header file defining. After defining one arrays, as I am saying, I am going to discuss regarding the array also at the end of this video lecture. Then I use that array in the, this code also, the all character name, the array name is there, which is having the data type character. And in bracket, square bracket, I am not writing anything because I am initializing some character actor's name. Then I have chosen the 20 actor's name, randomly I have just chosen that actor name, Amitabh Bachchan, Dilip Kumar, Amir Khan, Rajesh Khan, Irfan Khan, Shahrukh Khan, Ajay Degan, Nana Patikar, Akshay Kumar and Salman Khan. Then if you just see, Total actor names are 20, but the size of this all character name array is 20. Why? Because in the first string, we can say of this character is Amita and second string is Bachchan. Similarly, third string is Dilip and next is a Kumar. Like this, I just with the help of inverted comma, I separated all the arrays and the total size of this array is 20, but the actor names are 10. And in that, the indexing of uh, this all actors starting from 0, the Amitabh index is 0, Bachchan is 1, Dilip is 2, Kumar is 3. Like this 0 to 19, the string index I define in all character name array. We will see in detail at the theory part what exactly I am saying the indexing and all those things. Just keep in the mind, I define all character array in that I store all these strings. After that next, I need to define in the code which pin exactly I connected. Then as per the circuit diagram, whatever we discuss, I connect the LCD to 12, 11, 5, 4, 3, 2. Therefore, I am defining the liquid crystal LCD 
12 comma 11 comma 5 comma 4 comma 3 comma 2 the respective pin numbers on which pin number are connected the lcd after that i need to define the backlight also because with the help of backlight i'm con controlling this program therefore I slash define lcd underscore led co uh, light comma pin a4 i connected the uh, led plus to the uh, analog function a4 you can check the circuit diagram you will come to know that and the push button i connected with the switch pin 7 i defined the state of the push button initially i uh, make it as a 0 0 the state and last state has make it a 0 0 after it in void setup we need to define Mm, the lcd dot begin 16 by 2 as i'm using the size of that lcd panel 16 by 2 because of that i'm defining lcd dot begin 16 by 2 then uh, random seat analog read a5 analog a5 pin i'm not using just for the reference purpose. i'm just mentioning over here and with the help of random seat i'm just reading that some random data with the help of random seat if you want to learn in re more regarding the random you can check my last part in which in advanced function we'll discuss in detail regarding the random function after that in pin mode I define the switch pin input the switch pin pin number 7 which is connected with push, but, uh, push button which I am using as an input because of that in pin mode I define switch pin as an input but LE, LCD underscore light underscore pin this pin I am using as an output because I am getting the display of LCD with uh, through this pin because of that the A4 pin I am uh, considering as an output and in the white setup only I am initializing digital right LCD underscore light underscore pin should be low it should be off initial after in a void loop now our coding is starting now we'll check what is the state of switch pin whether it is high or low if it is a low in that case here in the if condition state should not equal to last state last state is also low this state is low this that time it will not satisfy this condition and the set of code will be not executed which is inside the if it will only execute it when the state of switch pin is high when state of switch pin is high and last state is as i said it is zero as uh, shown over there it is last state is zero it becomes low high not equal to low satisfied condition and now becomes inside this if condition after that again one more if condition is there in that i am checking the what is the state what i am exactly matching low high matching or high low matching if i am matching high and low state is high and last state is low in that case if we satisfy the state because state should equal to high after that inside again third loop third if condition is there in which i am checking what is the state of lcd underscore light underscore pin what is the display whether it is on and off because of that i'm writing if digital read i'm reading the digital data lcd underscore light underscore pin whether it is high and low if it is high in that case we should it should be off because of the writing lcd should clear clear the lcd no display should be there because i'm writing lcd dot no display and digital right led underscore light underscore pin should be low off else if it is already off in that case i need to on the lcd because of that i'm writing digital right lcd underscore light underscore pin comma high on the display because of the lcd dot display and get actor name function i'm calling this is a user generated function get actor name which i generated at the end of the wide loop I, I will show in the part fourth of this coding that i'm calling and after that at the delay of half second again the same set of the code will be executed now we'll check uh, we'll check what is the get actor name what exactly the function is doing now here i'm defining at the end of the void loop one more function i'm creating there is a user generated function that is a white get actors thing the name should be ma ma matched properly then and then the function will be called uh, called then here i'm writing get actors name same i'm writing who here get actors name inside this function i'm writing this i'm defining one variable this actor which data type is integer and inside some random function i'm storing what is a random function as i said you can just check in part 7 advanced function already i covered what is a random function that you will come in know in detail what exactly the random function does uh, now inside this act, uh, this actor, I'm storing some random numbers between 0 to 20. Any one number between 0 to 20. Now suppose I'm store the number is 1 over here. Then in the next line, I will check while this actor percentage is 2. That means I'm checking the remainder. If I'm dividing by 2, whether I'm getting remainder or not. As I'm saying 1, 1 divided by 2, I will get the remainder of 1, which is not equal to 0. Should not equal to 0. That means here I'm checking the even number. If I'm getting the even number, then again I'm going for random function. If I'm getting the odd number, then I'm starting the LCD properly. Then here I'm checking this actor. Suppose I'm getting 1, 1 divided by 2, I'm getting, I'm not getting 0. I should not get 0. I should, I'm getting right now some remainder. Okay, it's not equal to 0. It's 1. Okay, that is not satisfying. It's not equal to 0. 
that means that time i'm checking again checking the random function when i'm getting exactly zero zero is equal to zero that time it is to come for uh, max outside and that time lc dot set cursor back in zero zero that two lines are there then zero zero means i'm starting from zero row zero column and that time lcd dot print all actors name this actor whatever the number i chosen that number index will be selected in that array and that actor name will be printed and after that lcd dot set cursor zero one means i'm for the second row i'm shifted with all of this and over there i'm printing their surnames lcd dot print all actor name this actor plus one but next name inside the actor this all about the coding of uh, we can say the lcd now let's check the demonstration how it works okay now for the demonstration uh, we just assemble and uh, made the circuit as whatever we explain now when i'm pressing this push button you can see uh, the names are changing right now it's showing nana particle again i'm pressing now again it's showing the nana particle these are random numbers so according to the system whatever the number is picked is showing the actor's name is showing dilip kumar now next again i'm pressing now it's showing again dilip kumar uh, if i'm pressing one more time akshay kumar then you can check it fan khan it's randomly it's showing uh, this is all about this uh, project while pressing this push button i will get the random actors theme will be display on the screen that is not a fixed output i'm getting i'm getting the random names on the screen this all about this project now let's see the theory part uh, we will continue that arrays and memory okay i hope you understood regarding the theory uh, that demonstration how it's work exactly now we are uh, move towards the last part part 3 in the theory part of this uh, video lecture in which we are going to discuss regarding the arrays and memories in arrays we are going to discuss regarding the how to declare the array how to use the array and arrays limit and size of and also we discuss regarding the memory as i said then let's start with the array what is the array array is nothing but is a collection of common data type that common element Uh, which is uh, we if suppose i want to create a number of uh, integer or number of character in that case we can prefer the arrays this element are addressed by index as i said previously it required some kind of address then index number that point to the specific data type as i said with the single name i created a number of variables single name created a number of variables and i want to access some particular element only under that variable in that case i required something that something is nothing but index with the help of index we can easily select the particular element under that array we use both numerical and character arrays in our project code to store our answer pin assi assi uh, assignment and pencil readings now how to declare the array declaring array is very similar to declaring any other variable whatever the variable we declare same kind we can declare the uh, array also like uh, first we need to find the data type int name of the array my array and then in the bracket what is the size of array that we need to define whether it is 3 4 how much size memory should be allocated in the memory or because of that the size is important to declare an array we need uh, at least three things as i said first data type the name of array and either a number surrounded by square bracket should number be there if i am not surrounding i am not writing any kind of number that case we should initialize some value inside this array and that number is uh, known as a index now uh, declaring the array there are the two methods to declare the array one method is display on the screen for example int led pin bracket three bracket close square bracket close colon this i define the array led pin which is having the total index 3 okay as the index is 3 then it's starting from 0 then first index 0 led pin 0 i'm storing 9 second index pin that is 1 i'm storing 10 and third index pin that 2 i'm storing the 11 number then in the same name with the help of different index number i store the three different value 9 10 11 and another way are, are there that int led pin without showing any numbers equal to 9 comma 10 comma 11 curly bracket close colon then as i am using only three numbers then system will become to know that here the by default index is 3 and these are the two ways here i using the four line but here in single line i can get the same kind of code this is declaring the array now to use the array we can use it just like any other variable except with an index number index number is important for example i'm using uh, here i defined the led pin 0 1 2 9 10 11 and i want to on the led 9 which is led uh, which is connected to digital pin number 9 in that case i need to define the index number 0 digital right led pin 0 comma high then it will be automatically system come to know that whatever the led is connected to pin number 9 it should be on 
instead of number we can also use the variable here i'm using the number but i can use the variable in the place for the array index to access each element using the something like for loop for example for int i is equal to 0 colon i less than 3 i plus plus digital right led pin i comma high and in the for loop it will be executed and incremented at the i 0 2 till 2 then one by one pin number 9 10 11 will be on with the help of single for loop this line and this is the method to use the array now some array limit and size we will discuss it is very important that we are careful to not access the array beyond the number of element declaring the array dimension for example as i said here i'm defining the uh, index is 3 that means 0 1 2 but by mistakenly i'm accessing the array pin 5 something in the pin but as i'm defining the 3 i'm not i can't i should not access the pin number uh, index number 5 because index number 5 is nothing over here just up to 3 i defining the array then in that case if we try to access the array beyond the number of element declared then we would be reading from the part of program memory that might be used by some other things as the error limit is 3 but i am accessing the 5 then it will be increase the index from 0 to 5 but that is not a part of error then i will access something else because of that some weird output i might be will get in the arduino program because of that we need a way at the end of the main loop to know when we reach the end of the error to do this we can use the function in the arduino library size of to overcome this uh, drawback should not access the error limit we are using the size of function now to for demonstrating the size of function we will see this uh, some simple code in which i am using the led pin to on and off like a uh, candle lamp flicker type some uh, effects i suppose if you want to achieve that time we are executing this code in which i define the led pin which is i connected with pin number 11 and i defined one array flicker and inside i just randomly i uh, mentioned some numbers 64 22 4 28 6 130 186 and 120 till 255 why 255 because here i am dealing with the analog functions and if you want to know detail regarding the analog function you can check my part 6 video you will get in detail how the analog function is work and why i am just saying up to 255 i need to access the number then that number i defined over here in the bracket uh, up till 255 186 maximum uh, then int i is equal to 0 i define one variable under the void setup some random seed i'm accessing with a5 which is not connected anything just random number i'm taking under the void loop and a log right led pin led pin 11 comma flicker i whatever the i value is there i value is 0 then here it's 0 and i'm accessing 64 then as i'm writing the, i'm using the analog write function what is the analog write function they are passing the two value first which function i need to on that is a uh, which pin number i need to on I, I want to on pin number 11 which is led is connected comma at what duty cycle and here due to cycle is 64 then according to 64 respective rates the flicker the glow will be on that much amount of glow will be get maximum value is 255 minimum zero and in between i'm accessing like 64 then partially glow will get after we left some random 0 to 500 i will increment the i okay and after that the same thing is i'm now using this if condition i'm saying i'm continue then 0 1 2 3 4 maximum index is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 till 7 it will be executed but when i'm saying i plus plus 8 and when the same loop will execute for the 8 that might be i will get some weird output it should not happen because of that i'm using this if condition in which i'm what i'm saying if i is equal to the size of flickler by 2 why i'm dividing by 2 because each number is uh, required the 2 byte of memory and total eight numbers are there okay eight multiplied by two is uh, total 16 because of the size of flickler i'm getting the memory how much memory is stored in the flickler flickler storing the 16 bytes 16 byte divided by two it's eight when i is equal to eight when i become eight then i should again reach to its initial value that is a zero not should increase increment to the nine because of the size of function i'm just checking whether i achieve the maximum size or not the uh, limit of the array or not i hope you understood now last part of this uh, uh, video lecture and which in which i am going to discuss regarding the arduino memory the challenging thing uh, with the array is that they can begin with the filling up relatively enormous amount of memory space because of that we need should know regarding how much amount of memory is there in our arduino program then there arduino program there are three separate types of memories are there for example in the uno we will take the example the flash memory sram ram memory and eprom that is a electronic erasable program read only memory then the 
many big amount of memory is the flash memory that is 32768 bytes which is non volatile to store the program source code and arduino bootloader what is arduino bootloader is a small program that make programming the microcontroller through a serial port possible rather than requiring addition hardware now ram ram is nothing but whatever the program i store in a flash this is non volatile even though i am not supplying any kind of power then also the memory will be stored in the flash memory but when the program is on the whatever the code i am stored in a flash memory the store code the instruction will be first come in the ram and then on the line it will be execute the code that is the use of ram and that ram is very small that is 2048 bytes and which is volatile if the light is gone the ram will be the whatever the memory it will vanish we cannot access that memory operating space for the accessing variable and function and last eaprom is 1024 bytes is again non volatile permanent storage for the user data like reading or settings now take the example of memory whatever we discuss right now flash sram you know when we are using which memory suppose uh, i want to store a single 32 character message when stored in array will occupy 34 bytes of memory then if we are using array of similar 20 messages means inside the array instead of single character i am storing the 20 uh, single uh, 32 character single message i am storing the 20 message combination then this single character array would consume not only 680 bytes of program memory but when the program start it load this array into ram take another 680 bytes of available ram space as well as i said initially uh, the program will be stored in flash memory but when i am starting the executing of program with the help of when i'm connecting power supply the same code will be loaded in ram memory because of that it is written first it will be stored in flash memory 684 680 bytes and again when program starting is stored in ram also after that but the time we added in the rest of the variable and other data type this is only array memory 680 but if i add the variables and data type then it consume 1043 bytes of ram only left then by using that large character array it would not have been possible to run this code on one of the arduino uh, that uses the 80 mega 168 with the half as much as total ram space it's quite difficult to run this this type of in such type of arduino boot anything coded more complex with additional string or multiple variable would quickly run out the ram leading to the intermittent operation and strange because of that we need to check the memory of arduino board also before executing or writing that program this all about the arduino uh, memory if you want to learn in detail regarding the arduino programming whatever i explain right now in this video lecture or previous video you can refer the book beginning arduino programming p events technology in action and you can refer the www.arduino.cc forum also there are also some resource materials available uh, thank you for watching my video uh, you can check my previous series introduction to mechatronics electrical action system uh, introduction to pneumatic system Uh, please hit the like button share this video with your friends also if you have any doubt any comment please mention in comment box and do not forget to hit the subscribe my channel to motivate me to make a such video in future also thank you thank you very much see you soon bye bye take care